It's Uzi. Hi guys, welcome to Studio B, and today I have a very pressing question. Science, do you love it or is it miserable? <laughs> now, my gut reaction is, oh, I love science. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, school has a way to ruin everything. Literally everything. Like, even science projects. So my first thought about science, you think science, you think science projects. When you think science projects, at first you think, oh yes, I'm gonna do this. And then you look up online and you're like, oh, this one looks so cool, this one looks awesome. Oh, I love this one, we're gonna do this one. And my board is gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be so amazing, yeah! Eh. Ugh. School must be a super genius because they have made a way for science projects to become miserable. My first year of science projects, I did one where I tested butter temperatures made in cookies, and then I made the cookies with the different temperatures, see how it affected them, and ate them! Who could not love tasting and making tons of cookies? I love it, but that only lasted about three hours, and the rest of it, took weeks. You think that it's like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my project part, I'm gonna do my board, and I'm all done. No. So first it's like introduction. What is this project about? What's gonna be happening in this project? Then hypothesis. Um, restating what I just said in my <laughs> introduction, because it already said what it, what's gonna happen. <laughs> Abstract. I literally just said all of that. But I have to reword it. Again. Purpose. What in the world? There's no purpose for testing cookies or lipsticks or whatever. Seriously. Data. This one turned out good and I ate it. This one turned out really good and I ate it. This one was pretty good and I ate it. Um, uh, and now I need about uh, four more paragraphs to write. Each one of these stinking topics is four paragraphs that you need to write. I don't have enough data. This one was good, and this one was good, and this one was just kind of different. I'm going to make up data. This cookie turned out buttery and really uh, uh, soft and melty. This one turned out really hard, and this one, oh, this one turned mutant and green. Yeah, mm -hmm, totally. Restate the question, what, again? Seriously? Oh my goodness, ah! Oh! Then, it's conclusion. Why did it not happen or happen your way? Ugh. I already said that a million times. What do you think you could have done better in your project? Ah! I did my project perfectly. Stop judging me! So this year, I did one on candy. Amazing, right? No. That board, it looks so pretty, so amazing, so delicious. Um, it took me forever to make. Forever! And plus, I had to sacrifice a lot of my Halloween candy to do it. Yes, instead of eating my Halloween candy, I gave it to other children and put it on a, a board. <laughs> Irresistible. You know you want to. The worst part was that I thought that the five-year-olds would do much better than the three and two-year-olds. But they were all different. None of them were like, had because I had to do different kids for each of them, and it didn't even have statistics that made sense, and it didn't even have stuff that I could put, so I just made up data, and that wasn't good, but I had to make up data, because my data didn't make sense. <sighs> they ruined it for me. I know, it sounds crazy, but they did. And they ruined it in school, too. Science is supposed to be fun and interesting and learning new things, but this is how it plays out in school. Students come for class. Now class, today we are going to be studying matter. There are three types of matter. Liquids, like water. 
Write that down. Do it. Now, write it. Write it, you can't fool me. Solids. This is a solid. And gas. See, there's, there's oxygen in this, and that's gas. There, those are three types of matter. Only three, no more than three, no less. Write it down, okay? We're going to be having a test on this in one week. But I haven't studied enough. Well, then get a bad grade on it. See if I care. Ha! This is why I don't like science. You're losing recess. You too. I don't want to get out of here. I am going to be putting fun back in science. So, usually they take out the fun part of science. Science is supposed to be fun. But I am going to change that. When your teacher says that there are only three types of matter, she's wrong. There can be a substance that is both liquid and solid. And I'm going to teach you how to make it. First, we are going to start with a two to one ratio math <laughs> of cornstarch. It should be looking just like this, like milk with cornstarch on the edges. Now you see how this is a liquid? It's just like milk. Then if I start stirring it really fast, then it'll start turning more into a solid. If I move slowly, it's more like a liquid. If I move fast, it kind of pulls back. Ta-da! Look at this. This is a solid right here. See that? But then if you stop, it's a liquid. So there aren't just three types of matter. There's also in-between matters. So you kind of have to scrape it up. But it's a really fun thing. I know you can't see it very well in the camera, but it is hard and then it is soft. And it turns into a liquid. It's kind of hard to show that it's hard because it, it has to be constantly in motion. It's like, see this little ball of it right here? See that? See that little ball? And then it's... Oh, this is perfect. Look at it. Get more of this and um, make it into a ball. You guys see this right here? This is a little ball of the stuff. See how it's a ball and it's a solid right here? And now it's a liquid. How cool is that? Look at it. Solid and liquid. Okay, I would suggest doing this in a bigger bowl. Now, this is really awesome, and I hope that this shows you guys that science can be fun if you despise science because you've never done it outside of school. A really fun way to get more like this is 100 and something ways to play with your food. It's a really great book, and it shows you tons of cool exp science experiments, like putting an egg in vinegar so that it turns bouncy and see-through. So put an egg in a bowl of vinegar and let it sit in there for three days. Got that? Three days. And it's going to be awesome. It turns rubbery, like a ball, and then it does not it. It also turns into clear. It's clear, you can see through it, and it's like a rubber ball. How fun is that? Except for that it kind of stinks, so I would recommend putting a little lid on that drawer on that jar. Look at this, you guys. Solid and liquid. I am obviously making a huge mess right now, so make sure to not make a huge mess like me. Definitely use a bigger bowl than I am. All you need is cornstarch and water. This won't work with flour, but cornstarch is easy to find. It's just at State of Brothers, Target, wherever you want to go to get it. I got it at State of Brothers because I was going to go get stuff for slime. And then I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do a slime video. I think I'm gonna do a science experiment video. Now, I have some 
flubber quicksand to be playing with right now. So I will see you soon. Oh my goodness, seriously, this is so cool. You guys have got to try this. Do, 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 do. Make sure to comment below if you have done a science project, what you thought of it, or what your favorite science experiment is. I'd love to hear it. Tell me so that I can maybe do it on one of my YouTube videos so I can show you guys what it's like. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love science or if you don't love science. Even if you don't love science, you can still love Studio B. See you next time. Bye.